It's my app where I go live every week and all that stuff. All exclusive content is there. Anyway, that ain't what we're here for. Her question was, why is it that a man will keep coming back over and over again? And I know the cliche answer is, oh, because you keep letting them come back over and over again. But let me just kind of break this down. First off, her situation was her and this guy were like they fourth break up to make up, right? And she's like, I'm seeing the pattern here. I'm clearly a part of the problem. But why is it that a man will keep coming back? He's the one that's breaking up. He's the one that's leaving the relationship. So why is it that he keeps coming back? And again, we all know because you keep letting him back. But let me give you just the mentality behind a man who even does that. Not necessarily that many times, but why a man will leave you, like voluntarily leave the relationship and then come back begging for another chance, days, weeks, sometimes months, rarely, but sometimes even years later. First off, a lot of men are emotionally underdeveloped. A lot of men are emotionally immature. So in any conflict, any moment of stress during a relationship, any moment of weakness in terms of conflict, he shuts down. Now, why would a man do that? It's because since a young age, unfortunately, a lot of us were never taught to really honor our emotions. We were never taught how to manage our emotions. And I'm talking in a general sense for the boys that were told you can't cry, you know, man up, that kind of thing. So what happens is the emotions have to have something. They, 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 some, you have to do something with them. And you're either going to shut them down or you're going to wallow in them or you're going to manage them. A lot of us were taught how to shut down whenever we feel those emotions as a way to keep functioning. So whenever you have a guy who still has the infantile mentality and he brings that into an adult relationship, that's what it looks like. I'm going to break up with you because I'm so upset. I'm going to break up with you because I'm so angry, because I'm triggered, because I'm, I'm starting to feel vulnerable, because I'm hurt. And instead of being able to manage his emotions and make it through that conflict or vocalize and communicate, he shuts down. You see this with a lot of young boys when they're playing basketball or video games with their friends and they get upset and they just want to shut down. No, nobody can play with my basketball. And that's the adult, adult version of a man who's doing the exact same thing. And I know a lot of y'all thinking, well, yeah, he just wanted an excuse to go out there and get some sex. Yes. And I'm gonna give you a little background to why a guy will even do that. And this is why you have to be very careful about how a man moves whenever he's single. When you get these guys who are, you know, over and over again, running through chicks, I'm not saying they're a bad person. And a lot of y'all know like, oh, if you're single, you can do whatever you want to. But he needs to know why he's doing that. Because if he's doing that because he has a stressful life and sex is the only thing that calms him down, that means he's found vagina to be one of his coping mechanisms. And whenever he gets into a relationship with you, yes, if he's any type of good man, he's going to attempt to put that coping mechanism away. But the moment y'all have conflict and clearly he's not going to get vagina from you in a moment of conflict, he's going to want to go back to what's familiar to him, either by way of cheating or by way of breaking up with you so that he can go back to whatever was calming him down from this stress that he was feeling in a relationship because don't nothing stress you out like a relationship that ain't doing like it's supposed to be doing okay and then of course once the stress comes down then he comes back knocking on the door for another chance kind of long-winded but i wanted to give y'all the real put i down in the chat if you've ever dealt with this by the way a man leaving you just to try to come back and all this stuff he want to spend the block when he was the one that wanted to go out the block to begin with anyway the second reason why a man will leave you and then come back looking for another chance is because he blamed you for whatever the issue was that arose. But then hindsight is 2020. So then he realized he was the issue. No matter what the issue was, it could have been, um, oh, I ain't making no money because you spending all my money. Oh, I ain't never got no time. I'm not at peace. You're not my peace. Whatever the issue was, he blamed you. But then once the emotional dust settled, he realized he was the problem. And again, this is a byproduct of a man who was emotionally immature and he was never taught how to operate in his masculinity, which means managing his emotions, understanding that they must come and then go for him to think clearly, understanding that whenever your emotional brain is at work, when it's triggered, whenever it's heightened or whatever the case may be, your logic brain shuts down. And see, a man who's operating appropriately in his masculinity is going to give whatever that situation is that's got him so uptight time so he can see clearly before he makes some type of snap judgment, some type of decision, right? So that's the second reason why a man would leave you and then come begging for another chance. And if any of these that I'm going to name is a situation where it's worth reconsidering, this would be it. But I say one time should be the max. If this happens over and over and over again, where it's like, okay, you know, I blamed you, but I was, I see now I was the problem. I went to go see the lady. If you keep going back to a guy like that, it's not that he's bad, but the emotional roller coaster is starting to condition your central nervous system to get accustomed 
to this hot and cold, off and on, push and pull. And you'll never really feel safe. You'll never really feel at home in that relationship. You'll always just be waiting for the next time that this is going to break down and that he's going to leave, which is unfair to you and unhealthy for you. Put I down in the chat if you've ever been in that situation. Let me know in the comments if you've ever been in that situation. All right. Third reason why a man will leave you and then come back begging is because he overestimated his ability to cope with seeing you leave. Whether he overestimated his, his, his pride or lack thereof to see you be loved by another man or he overestimated his ability to stand on his own because in the relationship he didn't got to depending on you. You know, his life just don't work without you, whether financially or his daily dues, his errands or what have you. He overestimated his ability to be without you. You see, a man can get upset enough to where, no, legitimately, like, he does not want this type of feeling in his life on a regular basis. He's not okay, and he wants better than this. But instead of exploring those options in his mind, he's thinking, well, shoot, I'll be better without it. I'll be, be, be good by myself. I can get some sleep by myself. I ain't got to check in. I can still make money. I can still be happy. I can do what I want. And then, whenever that reality hits... And you actually getting cute and you showing up in them IG stories with that with that hand with the Rolex and the tattoos on the forearm across from you at the dinner table. And he feel that sting. He feel that that cold feeling in the pit of his stomach. Yeah, he overestimated his ability to cope with seeing those type of things. And then that stress of whatever's going on in that space, whatever really hitting him in the chest, that now exceeds what he was dealing with. So now he's picking between two poisons. He's choosing his poisons. Do I want the poison of, of, of seeing her probably getting folded up with another man at the end of the night after this amazing date she's getting taken on? Or do I want the poison of going through this conflict with my lady and trying to work things out and humbling myself and swallowing my pride and communicating when I don't feel like it? And he says, you know what? I'm going to choose that poison. Smart man, but sometimes you can smarten up too late. And in that situation, like, again, that's up to your discernment, whether or not you feel like it's worth going back. If he showed you enough good to say, you know what, I'll give this another shot because I ain't really cool out here on these streets either, by all means, do your thing. But that's up to you. The fourth reason why a man will leave you and then come on back begging for another chance is because he was looking for an exit from the beginning. Not necessarily like literally from the beginning of the relationship, but at some point in the relationship, he was already thinking, I want to get out of this, but I want to position her as the reason that way the bridge is not completely burned if I choose to come back on this bridge and come back and try to make the relationship work. Now, yes, a lot of times this is motivated by another woman that he's still in love with from a previous relationship, a woman that he's met during the relationship, or some women or whatever, he just misses the single life, being able to have that freedom and not having to be accountable or responsible. It may not have nothing to do with women necessarily, but relationships come with a lot of responsibility and a lot of call for maturity. And if you're the type of woman that holds a man accountable, that can make a man so uncomfortable, he just misses being able to do whatever he wanted to do without worrying about that. But again, if there's that insecurity as to whether or not he can really be good without you because y'all have gotten attached, he's deep in or whatever, he may say, you know what, let me play this in a way. Let me wait for that exit. It's kind of like when a dude really don't want to celebrate your birthday or Valentine's and he just manufactures some type of conflict. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Same thing goes year round for guys who look for that exit. And then the moment that it presents itself or he creates it, boom, oh, I'm out. I'm done. And then of course he comes back because similar to before, he overestimated his ability to cope without you. Now the last reason and I want to add this in. I wasn't even going to talk about this, but it came to me while I was talking. The last reason why a guy would leave you and then come back begging for another chance when he was the one that broke up in the first place is because he wanted to punish you. He's teaching you a lesson, but he's weaponizing abandonment. So he's going to show you not to check him. He's going to show you not to hold him accountable. He's going to show you not to raise your voice, not to stand your ground, not to speak on your boundaries, not to speak up for your feelings, not to voice your concerns, not to require more. He's going to show you. He's going to teach you a lesson with abandonment, which absolutely is one of the most narcissistic, manipulative things anybody can do. It's saying, I'm going to snatch away your comfort in the relationship as a response to you trying to operate in this healthy relationship by making me uncomfortable in any type of way. 
It's a total power move. And again, it's totally selfish, narcissistic. And if you have an abandonment wound, it can be very triggering and re-traumatizing over and over again. And those of y'all who have taken a man back who has done this, y'all got to be very careful. You're not repeating the same mistakes or the same issues that you had in your childhood. And I say mistakes, mistakes by your parents or your caregiver and trying to right that wrong on a subconscious level by being with this man who's doing the exact same thing to you that was done in your childhood. And this is why you gotta be very careful whenever you tell somebody what you went through in your childhood and you start seeing it present itself in their behavior. But why will he come back after doing that? Because he saw that you were actually okay. He, he saw you actually moving on. He saw you actually going through the grieving process. You know, just just internal, like you just processing everything and moving on. And what goes on in this narcissistic man's mind, I can't call him a narcissist, but this action is absolutely narcissistic. What's going on in his mind is, oh, well, I, I didn't get a strong enough hold on her. Why is she OK? Why didn't she fold? Why didn't she break? Why didn't she just get dismantled whenever I weaponized abandonment? She seemed like she's healing and moving on. Let me love bomb my way back into her life so I can run it back and try to do the exact same thing. So be very careful if you're dealing with a man who tried to ruin you or tried to hurt you or tried to teach you a lesson. You know the only thing that you did wrong was make him uncomfortable, was make him face ugly parts of himself that he didn't want to face. And as a result, he said, I'm going to leave you. If that type of man is trying to come back and you allow him back, you're allowing in and you're becoming a co-conspirator of your own destruction. And all of these result of a man who was emotionally underdeveloped, underdeveloped or broken or insecure or malicious in the way that he's trying to feel like enough of a man in the relationship. All things that you can avoid if you were to just do it an evolved man to begin with. Because I, there's a thing, for years I heard from brothers, man, you ain't speaking up for us enough, you know, men that have done the work, men who are tired of the games, et cetera, et cetera. And for years I heard from y'all, just like I'm seeing in the comments right now, where are these evolving, where are these men who get it, where are these good men at, da 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 And what I realized is, a lot of you women do not understand, and I say you women, I ain't trying to be disrespectful, I'm just gonna keep it real with you. A lot of y'all don't understand what evolved men are even looking for. You know how to be amazing. You know how to be great. And for whatever reason, you were taught that all you have to do is be good. No, there's a certain way you have to present that good. It's just like if I'm a good basketball player, there's certain things I have to do in order to get on an NBA team. I could be the best basketball player in the world. If I don't know where the tryouts are, if I don't know where the, what the, what, when, when they are, if I don't know how to show up, if I don't know what this team is looking for, I'm not going to be able to make an NBA team. So I already did a masterclass. I'm not going to go too in-depth with that. I already did an hour-long masterclass called Secrets to Make an Evolved Men Crave You, where I break that down and I make it crystal clear what you need to do if you are ready for an evolved man in order to attract that type of brother or type of men into your life so you can choose the right one for you. If you want access to that before it comes down and it's absolutely free, right now it is, click the link that you see pinned right here in the comments. Click that link. Get access, register for this free masterclass, Secrets to Making Evolved Men Crave You, so you can get the strategies to stop getting overlooked by evolved men and stop running into the same pattern of men who are emotionally underdeveloped, malicious, evil <laughs> at times. Click the link that you see pinned right here in the comments, also in the caption, whenever you back out. But moral of the story is this, if a man keeps coming back over and over again, when he was the one to break the relationship, you have to be very careful that you're not helping him break your heart over and over again with the uncertainty that that invites into the relationship, the doubt, the fear, the paranoia that that invites into the relationship. Even if he's not cheating and betraying you or anything like that, just allowing that type of man with that type of behavior can cause the exact same type of trauma that's going to give you more to heal from whenever it is time to receive your blessing in a man that actually deserves you. But those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. Share this. If you got blessed with this in any shape, form, or fashion, share this right now for somebody else in your timeline so they can be blessed as well. Just a few of y'all. And if you're in the market for an evolved man, click the link that you see pinned right here down in the comments. Also in the caption whenever you back out to get access to my free master class. It's coming down soon, but it's called Secrets to Make an Evolved Men Crave You. You don't have to run after them. They will crave you if you use the strategies that I outlined in this free master class right here. Pinned right here in the comments. Also in the caption or description whenever you back out. But that's all. I'll let y'all later. Y'all be good.